Quick question, is this out of pocket or does this make sense? Put me in, he put me into nursing school, he got my hair, nails, everything done. So he up here on this level, I'm down here on this level, you get where I'm going? He got me up here with him because he was making good money. But then he ended up losing his job two years ago. Lost his job and now he broke. What did I do? Broke up with him and got on because I'm not finna take care of no grown man. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Yo, make sure that you're investing into yourself. Make sure you're investing into your wealth. Because again, whether you're a woman, whether you're a man, at the end of the day, family, you got to have your own back. Some people cannot be trusted. Now, I say all of that to say we got to have financial literacy. I see that people will drop you like a bad habit. Let's be better than that. Let's invest. Now, family, let's talk about something that I wanted to show you specifically in terms of investing. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell, but I want you to look at something called CrowdStrike, right? CrowdStrike is a stock. But I do not see CrowdStrike as a long-term hold, but it is something that is moving like crazy, kind of like somebody else who was moving on like crazy. But you know what? We're going to leave that alone. So CrowdStrike is up 10% today, but on the week, it's up even more than that. On the year to date, it is up 126%, meaning it basically doubled from about $100 to where it is right now. What is moving CrowdStrike? Again, I don't see this as a long-term hold. I see this as a get in, get up, get out. I'm going to tell you in this video why I'm looking at it. I'm going to tell you what would make me buy it and where I'll be looking for it to go. If you appreciate that, you already know what time it is. Put 100 in the chat and hit the like button. We have to get the likes up. Subscribe to the video as well. And I appreciate you for that nonetheless. Now, let's look at this first. What's going on? CrowdStrike is soaring today. Why? There's three key points. The first one is their Q3 results. When you have a company, what they're doing is, especially when they're a publicly traded company, you're going to see that they're talking about the money that they earned and the money that they spent. They talked about that, and Wall Street had some expectations. Wall Street are basically the powers that be. You could think of them like that. However, they're saying the company told us in their Q3 results, third quarter of the year, they had strong revenue. And it's reoccurring revenue. Imagine that you are investing into a company or you like the company. And then you've seen that not only were they making money, they had people on a subscription or even institutions on a subscription that was going to guarantee that they were likely to get paid again and again and again. And then this is the main thing that really pushed it. The Q4 guidance suggests that the demand that they have right now is going to stay strong. That means that not only are they earning money, they see that it's going to continue that way. But again, when you look at traditional valuations of a company, like, is this worth it? It's way overvalued. But I see it as a potential stock to make money on in the short term on the way up, on the way down, whether even buying the stock. And I'm going to show you exactly what we're looking at here. I want to get to this, too, though, because you got to see for yourself what are the insiders doing. There are people who are running the company, executives, people who own a lot of the shares. And what are they doing? They've actually been purchasing some shares. This is the last time it was reported. 400,000, but they sold 683,000 the last time that this was reported. So there's basically a net of 270,000 shares being sold more than actually being purchased from the insiders as if they are kind of been taking profits. So we got to just keep that in mind. Even they know that sometimes you got to make sure that you lock in some of the gains. So now let's look at the technicals. The technicals, the reason that I show you this is because I trade with the chart and not with my heart. Like I always tell you, if you can't do the heat of these hot stocks, just take it out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. Make sure your foundation is strong. When you're in foundational stocks like ETFs, like for example, VOO, look that up on your app. Look that up on whatever app you're using. You're going to have something that's following the S&P 500, which is traditionally where people are building out all of their wealth. Now, including myself, but I look at these hot stocks so I could beat the S&P in increments. That's what we're trying to do. So now, the technicals is what we're going to use to get into a stock or not. Remember, I can't tell you what to do, but I want to be a resource to you so you can see what I'm looking at, so you can be in the know instead of in the dark. So this episode is brought to you by the Moomoo Investing app. You can open and fund your account, get up to 15 free stocks with a qualifying deposit, and earn 5.1% APY on your uninvested cash and get into a cash suite program and i wanted to show you something when you click on a link i'm going to put it in the description but also in the top comment what it's going to take you here is this 
you go right here. You see, I got a red arrow, a highlighted in red, so I'm gonna hit you in your head. It's quite simple. You can go click the link, and it says get free stocks. You're gonna sign up, and then it's gonna include you into all of these promotions like this transfer bonus where it says up to four hundred dollars it's going to include you in all of that what you're going to do is as soon as you get there it's going to ask you to go ahead sign up and you say you can put your phone number in there you can switch it use your email but you're going to see this this is the steps how it works you open an account you deposit money into your investing account so you could move forward with your journey i know you've been thinking about getting over there i know you've been thinking about starting your journey starting a new account if you already have an account remember it's often really good and me and every millionaire that I know has multiple accounts and we use them for what they're good for. So I encourage you to open this one up to help you with your journey. So open an account, deposit, get some free stocks. And then also, if you didn't want to have so many accounts, you could just transfer to this one. I do encourage you to have multiple, though. I think that's the best way to go about it. You can earn up to 250 in cash rewards, right, and get a $50 cash reward. You can see it. And it says, boom, times five. And then if you transfer here and you don't want to keep that old account that you had, you'll get up to $400 in cash rewards, family. So that's actually huge. And that saying that the deadline is basically 1130 if you were trying to do that for the 400 in rewards, up to 400 So now you can look at my account, which we started over on the Stock Squad Patreon. And you can see that Apple, we've been killing it, Microsoft killing it, and even Vanguard. We've been just straight up killing it. Just DCA in over there, dollar cost averaging. So go ahead, download it, get in, and the link is going to be in the description. Now, the technicals on CrowdStrike. This is what I'm looking at. Pay close attention to this. Even take a screenshot. If we go above 235, 75, right? We go above that. This is showing us that it's still showing that relative short-term strength. So then we're going to look for a target above that, which I'll show you in a slide subsequent after this one. But if we break under 218, then I'm looking for it to fall down to about 200 again, basically about 205. So if I was to buy CrowdStrike right now, I would hold on to it. My stop loss would be about $217. If that happens, it would kick me out. But I would be willing to average into it if it was fluctuating between these two numbers. Between 218 and 235, I'll be willing to average in. But if it broke under 218, and remember, make sure you're paying close attention. This is how I'm able to make money on the stock market and not lose a lot. You got to win more than you lose by having risk management. And I just told you the game basically for free right here on YouTube. Hit the like if you appreciate that. And then I will try to ride the wave down from 218 to 205. But that's the downside risk and how I would make money on that and how I would get out of the stock if I just bought the stock. But 235.75, if I see it going above that, family, I'm looking for it to push up where to here about 242 that's the target above 235 make sure you're doing your own research again and make sure you don't invest more than you're willing to lose especially if you don't know how to do risk management to be honest with you at this point in time you got to invest the time into your own risk management because it's so easy to lose money due to ignorance but it's so easy to make money with just a little bit of knowledge just a little bit of knowledge, like learning how to use a trailing stop loss. So now, why do you see Bitcoin here? As long as Bitcoin stays above 35000 right? And right now it's like 37 touching 38 As long as it stays above there, then these crypto stocks, the stocks that move based on crypto, they're going to run. They're going to run, right? When you look at something like a crowd strike, which is kind of like more of a online security kind of thing a lot of these things have to do with a lot of people doing things online and crypto scams one of the biggest scams so CrowdStrike is among the current stocks that are related ish it's like peripheral almost to bitcoin you're seeing your coin bases run up you're seeing your mara your rights run up family all of this is tied to bitcoin now this is why i'm saying that it's not a company that i would want to hold long term necessarily long term meaning until retirement if you want to i get it it's cool but this is why CrowdStrike is technically overvalued. They earn about $3 billion a year. And that sounds great. But if you earn $3 billion a year, your company should be worth about $9 billion if you're getting a good deal on it, right? This company is a $50 billion company. Family, to be a $50 billion company, you got to at least be earning like, let's call it $15 billion or something like that. Something that makes sense. They earn it three. So it don't totally make sense. But again, with cybersecurity and the, the whole space growing, they can grow into that valuation. But currently, with traditional metrics, they overvalue. It is what it is. That's why I'm thinking of seeing this like a trade 
that I got to have a plan on. Now, what I want your plan to be, if you decide to get into this, I want your plan to be, you got to remember, you're the CEO of your own portfolio. You got to have risk management. Get on the, this video right here that I link, because again, so many people told me, Keenan, put that video back at the end so I can find it easily. The trailing stop loss made easy. This is the last video that you will ever need to learn and understand a trail and stop loss, how it works and how to use it. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And please, family, please, please, please put a trail and stop loss on your volatile stocks. And if you got a volatile relationship, put a trail and stop loss on that. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care.